Welcome to the Sharon Jones Show, where we're keeping up with the Joneses. And now here's your host, Sharon Jones. Welcome to the Sharon Jones Show. I am so excited today. We have great guests lined up for you today. We're going to talk to you a little bit on our first segment about our taxes, with taxes done right. We're also going to talk to you with the cardio man himself, giving us some good tips and some good things for the new year. And we're also going to talk with you today on segment with tears. You definitely need to know about them. So keep it locked right here with the Joneses. God bless you. I'm Alice Hubbard from the True Believers Ministry Christian Center Church, where we're here to extend a personal invitation for you to join us each Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. where we're making disciples, preaching the truth of the gospel that save lives, heal the sick, and bind the brokenhearted. Jesus love you, and I do too. See you soon. When a loss occurs, Kimbrough Funeral Home stands ready to offer your family professional and compassionate service. We believe every detail is important. We are a full-service, multicultural funeral home. We offer rapid insurance funding, burials, memorial services, graveside services, direct cremation, and pre-planning. Please allow us the opportunity to serve you and your family at a time of need. Kimbrough Funeral Home, where everybody is somebody and treat you like family. Hey, welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show. I'm talking to a wonderful lady in this community that is doing some things that everybody enjoys the first of the year, and that's income taxes. So this is Taxes Done Right. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And yourself? <laughs> I'm doing excellent. And you are Outreach Ministry, by the way. Yes. And you are named in the community by minister or evangelist or? I'm Pastor Legina. Pastor Legina, got you. Now, Pastor Legina, what gave you the, um, the, the mindset to do a tax business, taxes done right? Um, I did the business because people need to be educated in their finances, and this is a way that we're able to get a broad spectrum of people, and then when they come in, we're able to talk to them, see where their situations are, and be able to um, assist them. Okay, so uh, prior to opening your business, doing the taxes, were you doing them uh, before you opened the business for yourself or you just started once you opened your business? Um, I started once I opened my business. I always did my own. Okay. But prior to that, I was an entrepreneur with a cleaning service for 16 years. Oh, wow. You're a young looking woman, but you've done some, a lot of things here. <laughs> How long have your tax business been in existence? We're going into our seventh year. We began Ooh. in 2008, my son and myself. Uh -huh. We opened it together. That's just awesome working with family. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's good to have somebody that you can trust in your business to help get it off the ground and continue to hold it together. Exactly. Can you tell me where Taxes Done Right is located? Yes, I can. We're located at 2111 Winton Road, Columbus, Georgia, 31906, about a half a block from the Aflac building. Oh, that's a good location. Midtown. Yeah. <laughs> so if I'm thinking correctly here, um, there's uh, on Winton Road, before you get into Macon Road, there's a... Um, a little oriental place very close, but there's a, spect a, star a spectrum store. Oh, that's right across the street from the Circle K gas station. Yeah, the you're corner. the little shopping plaza exactly. there. Exactly. There's a boot store that does boots uh -huh. there. Uh-huh, Went and Boot and Repair. Yeah. It's the corner of Winton Road and Brown Avenue. And they're Exactly right. Mm -hmm. I've seen you over there now as I think about it. I've seen that. Um, what is the, um, what is the, um, uh, taxes done right doing as far as the public as for do you do any seminars or pre-classes or you just kind of uh, give the information when they come in and try to advise them better with their returns well what taxes done right is we are full service year-round and we yeah. also assist in entrepreneurship um, resumes business plans 501 c3s we are also a notary and we do facts and copies. Well, y'all stay busy. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> that is good because, see, I didn't even know all that. I, I remember at one time um, you had, when I realized that you had a tax business, 
it was over uh, on 2324 Francis Street is where we began. Yes, by yes. the old bargain town and summary cleaners. Exactly. And so that's right. And then I was like, they're still in business when yes. I, okay, that's awesome too, to be able to start here and then God begin to bless what you're doing mm -hmm. and pull you to a better, a bigger and better place. Yes, God is good. Because that's more visible <laughs> yesterday exactly. on the main road. Yes. And I hope, so what is it about the, the repairing of when people owe and have debt to the IRS, is there any uh, particular tips that you can give us about that? Um, yes, if you have an IRS debt or a state debt, the best thing to do is to get in contact with either of the agencies. You can either call them or you can go online. And once you um, speaking with someone, you could go ahead and set up a payment plan. Therefore, you can pay monthly, as long as you don't owe over fifty thousand dollars to either agency. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do people need to bring when they're going to get their taxes done with you? Okay. What they need to do is gather their information, such as their financial instruments, mm -hmm. which would be their W-2s or their 1099s. Okay. They also would like to um, gather up the Social Security cards okay. for themselves and for any dependents that they're going to claim on the return. Okay. And if they're a business owner, they will come in and they would do what is called a Schedule C. They will gather things of like receipts that will make up their gross income mm -hmm. and they also would gather up receipts that will show their expenses so that we could put together a, a, a accurate schedule C for them at the end of the year. Okay, so at this time, your business is not only doing just basic taxes for the public, but you're actually recruiting clients so that you're able to do monthly bookkeeping, more or less? Yes, we do have a bookkeeping service, okay. and we also, in that bookkeeping, we do payroll. We have several clients that come in and we keep their books monthly and we do their payrolls and we do their end of the year summary, which are their 1099s. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that you had all those different functions running into that one uh, umbrella there. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. So, because I've spoke with quite a few business people that were having a problem finding someone to do just what you mentioned there payroll their own businesses and have the 1099s and having problems with you know trying to keep up they're so busy with the work they just don't have what it takes to keep up with the paperwork well they should call me at 706-221-0538 okay. we'll be happy to take over their business um, accounting for them okay yes Wonderful. And can they find you on Facebook, too? Yes, they can. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Text is done right. Because okay. <laughs> social media is just a thing to do, isn't it? It is. Because I noticed, I looked up and seen you on the uh, social media on the Facebook, and I said, wow. Yeah. I said, Text is done right. It's starting to get all over the place. Yeah, that's wonderful. Uh -huh, it sure <laughs> is. That's good news. So I look forward. So again, tell them, again, just go ahead and run over your location and run over uh, your phone number for me one more time. Okay. We're located at 2111. Winton Road, Columbus, Georgia, 31906, and our phone numbers are 706-221-0538 or 706-221-TAX, T-A-X-X. -X. All right, now, <laughs> that spells it. You know, thank you so much for coming on the show to share that with us, and we yes. hope and trust that your business clientele just blooms this season, and not only this season, for seasons to come. Mm -hmm. And uh, so keep it locked right here on The Joneses. You can't go wrong. Hello, I'm Carla Etheridge from uh, Uganda, a missionary there. I'm just asking today if you could please help us. We need to feed hungry children and we need to send them to school. We would appreciate your help so much because God cares for widows and orphans. If you would just send it uh, financial support, it would really be helpful to us. We will be praying for you and I hope you will be praying for me. We thank you very much. God bless you all. Hi, this is Charles with Midas. 
We can take care of all your automotive needs. We do brakes, exhaust, oil changes, tires. We have two great locations, 315 13th Street and 1631 Manchester Expressway. Trust the Midas Touch. Let our courteous and professional technicians take care of your automotive needs with two convenient locations to serve you. Trust the Midas Touch. For brakes, tires, oil, everything. Trust the Midas Touch. Welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show. I'm here talking with Miss Alicia, which is a, one of the representatives with the Tears Association here. And we're going to invite her on and tell us a little bit about you. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Alicia. Yeah. Um, tell me about Tears. Uh, Tears stands for Teens Empowerment Awareness with Resolutions. It was founded in 1996 by Miss Angelia Walton. And it actually started out of the trunk of her car. Mm. And it has grown to include a girl shelter for runaway females or ch uh, girls in the custody of the state. We have a after school program, summer program. Great. She's doing a lot of great things. Wow. Is she out of uh, Phoenix City? She's based in Phoenix City, Alabama, yes. Okay, great. And what is your position with TEARS? I am a recruitment specialist. I'm responsible for recruiting tutors, which we do need, by the way. I'm responsible okay. for recruiting students for the program, which we definitely need. And I'm also responsible for grant writing and recruiting sponsors and donations. Okay, that's yes. quite a lot. It is. I would also like to thank Cure Spa for donating us a $50 gift certificate oh, and also cool. Jerry L. Pratt for donating us jewelry. That's awesome. So do, do they do that every uh, quarter? or we, we hope they will. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. So are you guys out at, at any time doing events on the outside as far as um, going to a location and just setting up a booth trying to how do you do that? Yes, we were at uh, Goodwill uh, several weeks ago at the car uh, career fair. Mm -hmm. We're going to be um, at Fort Benning for their career fair, I think. Okay. And um, we do try to do that, get out in the community. Okay. How large is your staff? We are a staff of three. Mm -hmm. There are two other ladies who work with me on, okay. on our project. So another one of the ladies is here with you today? She is. Her okay. name is Lysandra Ingersoll. She's in charge of marketing. And then there's another lady, Nikisha Menifee. Hi, Nikisha. <laughs> okay. she, um, she is uh, in charge of development. She's actually creating the whole tutorial program curriculum. Wonderful. She's great. Okay, so any age group or just your? We are targeting fifth and sixth graders for now. That could change as we see how everything progresses. Good. Mm -hmm. So is this um, one of your passions? Yes, working with the youth, specifically at-risk youth, who just don't get enough good parenting and good hands-on caring and compassion. That is one of my strong points. Good, good. So you're recruiting right now people to help with the tutorial program? Yes, we, we um, would like more tutors. We definitely need students who okay. need this attention. Definitely need students. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, are you going into the schools? Uh, yes. Uh, my colleagues, they have been working with the school systems, um, trying to stay on board with their plans and okay. seeing their progress. That's wonderful. Let us talk with another one of your TEARS members awesome. before we go off. And, and, and so thankful that you come on okay. to give us the inside You're of so it. You're so welcome. Thank uh, you for having me. Yes, ma'am. I love you. You're great. All right. Thank you. <laughs> When a loss occurs, Kimbrough Funeral Home stands ready to offer your family professional and compassionate service. We believe every detail is important. We are a full-service, multicultural funeral home. We offer rapid insurance funding, burials, memorial services, graveside services, direct cremation, and pre-planning. Please allow us the opportunity to serve you and your family at a time of need. Kimbrough Funeral Home, where everybody is somebody and treat you like family. 
God bless you. I'm Alice Hubbard from the True Believers Ministry Christian Center Church, where we're here to extend a personal invitation for you to join us each Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. where we're making disciples, preaching the truth of the gospel that save lives, heal the sick, and bind the brokenhearted. Jesus love you, and I do too. See you soon. Welcome back here to the Sharon Jones Show. I'm sitting here uh, completing talking with our tears representatives here in the city. And I have Miss Lysandra Ingersoll here with me. And I just want to ask you about the tutorial program, Miss Ingersoll. Yes, ma'am. Well, right now, our tutorial program is going to start January, roughly January 11th, and it's going to run all the way to May 9th. And right now, we're, tut we're tutoring all Common Core subjects math, English, things like that. Okay. So do you do some of the teaching as well or you do the recruiting for the... Right now I am doing the recruiting. We're asking all fifth and sixth graders please come by and sign up at 1010 South Railroad Street. <laughs> okay, good. 1010 South Railroad Street. Phoenix City. Okay, in Phoenix City. Yes, ma'am. Right, is there a certain time of the day that um, they sign up? Um, for sign up we have Anytime from 10 to 6.30 right now. But the tutorial program is going to be Mondays and Wednesdays, 4 to 5.30. Okay. So no weekend tutorial, just with no, that. No, <laughs> Gotcha. All righty. Um, how is it that um, you work with children? Do you have that kind of patience? Yes, I found out <laughs> this year that I do have that type of patience. I actually work with her program in Tuskegee with the, um, the girls at Bridges. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, because my thing is my sister owns a daycare, and I was with her a couple of times, and I'm like, how do you do this? <laughs> you know, I just, you know, it, it, it's a gift, I believe. It's not something you just need to be in it for a paycheck. You yes, need to be in it because you like what you do, or in other words, love what you do in order to, to be with children because they are very challenging and they can really turn you on. Uh huh. I learned that's actually the same with running with a non working with a nonprofit. You can't do things with a nonprofit wanting to get a paycheck. You really have to want to help the community, and that's what Tears Inc. is all about. We want to help our children and get them. We want to help them get a better education. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> so again, how do they sign up? They sign up at the Tears office in Phoenix City, ten ten. South Railroad Street in Phoenix City, Alabama. And Any the contact number? 334-291-6363. Okay, are you guys on Facebook as well? Um, we're not active on Facebook yet. <laughs> okay, gotcha. But we're getting there. You're getting there. And again, who is the owner? Angelia Walton. Angelia Walton. All right, I've just waved off to Miss Angelia <laughs> Walton. All right, I am so glad that you guys came up today. I hope and trust that your recruitment grows and prospers for this 2016 year. May God bless you and what you guys are doing. Thank you. All right, keep it locked with the Joneses. Hello, I'm Carla Etheridge from uh, Uganda, a missionary there. I'm just asking today if you could please help us. We need to feed hungry children and we need to send them to school. We would appreciate your help so much because God cares for widows and orphans. If you would just send it uh, financial support, it would really be helpful to us. We will be praying for you and I hope you will be praying for me. We thank you very much. God bless you all. Hi, this is Charles with Midas. We can take care of all your automotive needs. We do brakes, exhaust, oil changes, tires. We have two great locations, 315 13th Street 
1631 Manchester Expressway. Trust the Midas Touch. Let our courteous and professional technicians take care of your automotive needs with two convenient locations to serve you. Trust the Midas Touch. For brakes, tires, oil, everything. Trust the Midas Touch. Welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show. Hey, I'm sitting here just thinking about my New Year's resolution when I'm looking at the cardio man himself. Hey. How you doing? Hey, doing good, Sharon. How All you? right, I'm good. Your name is Mr. Dwight Calhoun? Yes, it is. Okay, and you've been doing cardio for? Um, I've been doing cardio for nine years now. Mm. Don't think. What gave you the idea to get that started? Well, actually, uh, my cousin, she was overweight, and uh, she had wanted to... She didn't like the gym experience, of course, so she thought about line dancing. So she said, well, what if we do line dancing as a workout? So that's how I got started. Actually, she was looking for somebody else, but we couldn't find it. Oh, so wow. she said, what about you? You like to dance. So I was like, I'll give it a shot. Okay. So I turned it into a career. Into a career. It's yeah. amazing how something as little that's right. as that end up like this. Exactly, exactly. Because your name is hot. Is it? Yeah, they said a cardio wow. man. Who's the cardio man? <laughs> that's me, but I ain't know what's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good thing. And this year is grand because it's a new beginning. It is. It it's is. a new start, mm -hmm. and you have time to recruit new people. Yes, I do. And I'm hoping the viewers are taking notes. Y'all get your pencil and paper because right. we're going to give you the numbers in a minute. That's but right. we definitely want to get this new start with this new, not only the new food, the lifestyle. Right. Exactly. It mm -hmm. is a lifestyle. Yeah. It's, it's a lifestyle. And, uh, and I say it's a lifestyle because, uh, like I sent you the information we talked before, mm -hmm. uh, my specialty is actually preschool fitness. Mm -hmm. So that's when we should start the lifestyle at two, three, four. Eight. Exactly. At that, at that time frame in order to make it a lifestyle. True, right, true. So, so it's like a work, regular class work. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just something that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's something that they don't necessarily have to think about because mm -hmm. they've been exposed to fun fitness early. Exactly. Because right, right. all most mostly all your children love to dance. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Even the nay-nay dances. Oh, like. <laughs> it is taking off. It, it, it's <laughs> tremendous. But, you know, you know uh, one thing I, I try to integrate in that is uh, – educational fun fitness games and activities whereas the kids don't recognize that they're actually exercising while they're learning mm -hmm. so that's that's one of the that's major super. things that push it. yes that yes. is awesome yeah. so did your cousin lose weight after all oh yeah yeah, yeah. she gained it back and uh, she's gonna be back in my class uh -uh. starting uh tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least at least you showed her that she could lose the first Oh, yeah, time. yeah, yeah. You know, uh, people yeah. go through situations and everything. Really? And so we're, we're in the process of bringing her back around and everything. So That's awesome. But look at well, what she did for you, though. Oh, yeah, it, exactly, wow. exactly. It, it was a blessing. I, I, I never knew my passion until she actually introduced it to me. See? Go for wow. it. Wow. Wow. That ear to hear. Yeah. You heard it and you did That's it. Right. Yeah, yeah, I did. Where do you work out? Uh, where's your location? Well, right now I'm, I'm doing classes out at a... Uh, Columbus Health Department on okay. Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, 5.15 to 6.15 p.m. And uh -huh. then uh, at the occasions on uh, Victory Drive. Occasions Event Center. Yeah, Event Center, yes. Yeah. Yeah, one of the yeah, one, best people you would ever want to meet yes. in your life. AJ. I, I yes, I agree with you. Yes. Now, what day do you do that? That's on Mondays and Wednesdays as well. I do the uh, uh, health department first, and then I leave there and do occasions at uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, 6.40 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Okay, cool. Yes, $5 a class. That's all? That's it. I'm in Columbus. That's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. That's it. You tried to talk about now, it. I'm just saying, you know, I got to make it affordable. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shoot, man. I'm just, I'm just for real. That's wonderful. Right? And I, I try to make it affordable. And, you know, okay. it's, it's all about changing people's lifestyles. It doesn't have to cost you a million bucks to change your lifestyle. That is so, uh, that's so true. Right. Now, do you go in the school since you're into the children? Absolutely. Or? Absolutely. Okay. Um, you know, um, I've been doing uh, preschool fitness. I've done close to maybe about 75 daycare centers and Head Start programs oh. here in Columbus and Atlanta. Yeah. So I do that on a uh, day-to-day -day basis and also during the summer programs I do that. Cool. Yeah. I like your shirt, too. Yeah. Wow. Look at it. It say, I live to sweat. I live to sweat. Um. That came about, yeah. That came about because I'm a stroke survivor. Yeah, yeah. 
So I have, that's the way I rehabilitated myself, through sweat and exercise. Go figure, right? That is news, uh, good I news. I know, right, right, for me Because <laughs> you look so young. Uh, that's, that's my daddy jeans talking right there. <laughs> that's good. Do you ever get pamphlets in hand with the information for the children? Uh, uh, normally, I, I have not. Mm -hmm. And I just usually just send out my promotion package to the different daycare centers and everything. Mm -hmm. But it's something I'll look at this year because, you know, it's, it's mostly I'm looking at doing more contracts so I can hire some preteens and teens for oh. do the after school program. So it's all about economic development. That's what I'm more interested in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm making, a, yeah I'm making a change. Cool, Mr. Cardio Man. Where are you from? I'm from Columbus, Georgia. Oh. I'm, I'm a local guy. Okay. Have you thought about doing it at your church? I've done churches. I've, I've been there. I've done, done I've done the whole spectrum, and I'm I'm looking to do more with the churches because, you know, uh, you know, we Christians, we we, we, good, did, we, good we, we love to eat. Yeah, every we don't every occasion, like your exercise, a dinner. <laughs> and, and yeah, you know, chicken uh, or whatever. And uh, so my concept is. Uh, I developed a concept called making fitness fun for the faithful, which is actually like a, right. a play date. Uh, one thing I'm working on is uh, a Bible family feud competition between family members and stuff like that. So it's a whole array of different programs mm -hmm. and activities that I'll be doing. You got so much inside. I know, I know, I know. I found my passion, thanks to my cousin. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so how do they sign up again? Uh, just call me. Um, you can, they, I can be reached at 706-300-6756, or they can even just show up at the location and they can actually start classes at that time. Okay, so again, you're at the uh, health department Mondays and Wednesdays. Yes. 5.15 to 6.15? You have a good memory, yes. Okay, and then you go over to occasions on Mondays and Wednesdays. Yes. About 6.30, 6, 6.45. 6.45 to 7.30. To 7.30. Yes. Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays and Wednesdays. They can find a cardio man. And they, we're going to get it in. All right. And have fun. All right. I love it. I love it. And I, I look it. forward to seeing you. Uh-oh. If not, I'm coming to your church. We'll do something there. Okay. That sounds awesome. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you all you keep it locked right here on the Joneses for next week. Same place, same time. Do that. Thank you for watching today's show. If you would like additional information about today's show, call or email us. God bless you. I'm Alice Hubbard from the True Believers Ministry Christian Center Church, where we're here to extend a personal invitation for you to join us each Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. where we're making disciples, preaching the truth of the gospel that save lives, heal the sick, and bind the brokenhearted. Jesus love you, and I do too. See you soon.